my Australian Open 2023 dark horse is Sebastian Corda. In this video, I'm going to explain why I think Sebastian Corda can make a deep run in this year's Australian Open. I will be going through his projected path through the draw, and you will see how far I have him going. Let's take a look at Corda's results from a lead-up tournament in Adelaide. Corda was able to beat Murray, RBA, and Sinner in straight sets. He then faced Nishioka, who he was able to defeat after Nishioka was forced to retire in the second set with an injury. He would then go on to play Djokovic in the final, where he lost a close three-setter. Korda had a match point at 5-6, 30-40 in the second set, which Djokovic was able to save with the smash, and then go on to win the tie break and the final set. Korda played really well in this tournament, and that should give him plenty of confidence heading into the Australian Open. Korda served extremely well throughout the whole tournament. He had 12 aces versus Murray, 12 aces versus RBA, only 5 versus Sinner. Uh, he had 9 versus Nishioka, who was forced to retire in the second set, and then he had 15 versus Djokovic. Korda was able to dictate from the baseline and had many winners on both the backhand and the forehand wings. So I think with his improved serving and awesome baseline play, he can make a deep run in this tournament. Let's take a look at Korda's projected draw. This draw projection is going to be as if all top seeds won. Obviously, there will be some upsets, but we have no idea who is going to upset who. Round one, Korda will face off against Christian Gurin, who is mostly a clay court player, so Korda should have no issues getting past him. Round two will be against the big server, Rindiknek, who Korda was able to defeat last year, and I think he should be able to get by him again. This is where things start to get tricky. Round three, Medvedev would be his opponent. Medvedev will be the overwhelming favorite heading into this match, but ever since Medvedev lost the final in 2022 to Nadal, he hasn't been the same, and I feel like Korda has a decent chance to take him out. Medvedev leads their head-to-head 1-0 as they played in the Paris Masters in 2021, where Medvedev was able to win in a three-setter. Round four would be against Hubie Hercatch, who is kind of the most confusing player, as he can beat anyone on any given day and lose to anyone on any given day. In last year's Australian Open, Hercatch lost to Adrian Manorino in the second round in straight sets, which was a confusing result. He would then go on to play Nadal in the quarterfinals, this would be a rematch of the Indian Wells encounter last year, where Korda was up 5-2 in the third set, double break, but Nadal was able to come back and win in a tie break. Nadal has a tough first round draw in Jack Draper, and if he manages to get by him, he would possibly meet Tiafo in the fourth round, so no guarantees Nadal will make it to the quarterfinals. Korda would then have to get past Tsitsipas in the semifinals, which would obviously be a tough matchup. This path to the draw is advancing all the top seeds, and I can guarantee some will lose, which will open up the draw for Korda to advance. I have Korda getting all the way to the final to face Djokovic in a rematch of the Adelaide tune-up. I think Djokovic will likely win this one as well, as best 3 out of 5 is where he really excels. Korda getting to the final would really solidify this as a potential breakout year, as he has never gotten this far in a slam. Thanks for watching!